Hi. I'm so glad you joined us. I do hope you watched the first two videos in this series. There I presented the 50,000 foot view of the system as a marketing plan. Then I went into the 25,000 foot view. From that level, you can see that we have produced the infrastructure necessary to make marketing events happen. From those videos, you should have gotten the idea of client marketing and prospecting, as well as the idea of how we have integrated these into a business plan. The software we have designed is a CRM, which stands for Customer Relationship Manager. By the time you get done with this guided tour, I hope you will see that the Bill Good Marketing System is the real and actual CRM. Other programs identifying themselves as CRMs are actually contact management programs. These programs plus thousands of hours of your work will give you a CRM. We have done the heavy lifting for you. Now, we're going to go to the ground level and look at how you can implement the plan. You can have all the plans in the world, but if you don't implement them, they're just so much puffery and smoke. We're going to start by taking a look at a term that gets batted around a lot, but which very people which understand, we're going to learn what it actually means. And I'm talking, of course, about contact management. Now, once again, most CRMs or most p programs that call themselves CRMs are actually contact management programs. Our CRM does contact management, but I want you to understand exactly what it is, so let's define it. Contact management is a system of actions that you take to create a portrait of each and every client or prospect. These actions include the gathering of data, one client or prospect at a time, recording the data, protecting the data, and retrieving the data so that you can use the data to better do your job. That's contact management. We're not yet at customer relationship management. Part of contact management includes the ways in which you accomplish these actions. And to help you implement your own contact management system, we're going to talk about these different ways. They include advanced messaging, campaign management, compliance, synchronizing your database with your email so you're not constantly copying and pasting email text into your program. That's a little look at what we're going to be talking about. But we have to start someplace, and we're going to start with a tool in the program which I call the Finder. So let's take a look at it. You're looking at the main menu of the Gorilla 3.0 Playground. Now what on earth is a playground? It's basically a fake database. It's your real program loaded up with fake data. We learned a long time ago that people will not practice anything in a live database, just in case they did something that could not be undone. So we built a place for you to come and play around. It's a place to practice. And you don't have to worry that you will accidentally delete some important records. There are no important records in the playground. We're going to start our discussion of contact management by looking at the finder. So I'll click on that little hourglass you see in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and we'll go there now. The finder is basically a place, as its name implies, to find things. But it's a bit more than that. It's also a place to do some planning and to look at your database from different views. Sometimes if you see things from a different perspective, you can get some marketing or sales ideas. Right now, I want to see all my clients. So I click on the word client right here. And there they are. Let's say I want to look at my prospects. Well, there they are. Now, I want to point out something to you. You see Rudyard Kipling's name right here? There's a little alarm sign 
There's a little triangular alarm sign by it. That means our office has not contacted Rudyard Kipling in 90 days or more. Part of our marketing system that we teach is never let a client or prospect fall through the cracks. To do this, we have programmed Gorilla to flag every client and prospect who has not been contacted in 90 days or more. We call this our no contact interval. On day 91, if Rudyard hasn't been contacted, then that little flag lights up and Gorilla tells me, hey, you need to give Rudyard Kipling a call. All right, stay tuned. More to come.